you have s you have r you have t and you have r s to t so this is conduit arrangement conduit arrangements you have t ko you have t ko and you have esco esco is a subsidiary esco is a subsidiary of t ko fine and there is a treaty between rs there is no treaty between t and s t ko esco esco is a subsidiary esco is a subsidiary of uh, t ko so t ko has given a loan t ko has given a loan of 1 million t ko has given a loan of 1 million loan 1 million dollars whatever it is and therefore it would receive the interest it would receive the interest it would receive the interest but because there is no treaty between s and t that is why this interest this interest will be taxable under domestic law domestic law domestic law taxation of this interest under 11.2 the limit is 10 uh, limit is 10 percent you would remember this but because here you don't have a treaty so this interest payment will be taxable under the domestic laws of state s tico wants to avoid that what does it do it creates it has so it creates arco subsidiary it creates subsidiary fine it creates a subsidiary and it assigns it assigns the note it assigns that loan because the loan is owned by tico tico is the owner of that loan right so tico assigns that loan note to arco assigns fine tico assigns that loan to arco that loan note loan which is which is uh, which, uh, the payment of which is to be done by esco so tico assigns that loan to arco that that loan fine now when tico assigns that note to arco so therefore arco will receive the interest so see the arrangement arrangement is step number 1 assignment step number 2 this would receive the interest and because you have a treaty rs you have a treaty rs that is why under treaty rs supposing the withholding tax is zero so supposing this withholding tax is this withholding tax is zero fine and the interest payment supposing this interest payment is say 7% so esco is paying a 7% interest to arco on the on the note which was assigned which has been assigned to arco by tico fine so when tico assigns the note to arco arco also gives something in return to tico so tico also gives a note under this note under this note arco pays an interest of 6% 6% interest is paid by arco to tico so you see the series assignment payment of interest it receives the interest and then it pays the interest further to tico 1 2 and step number 3 you see what is a conduit company now arvin chetna can we say that arco is acting simply as a pipe conduit arvin chetna yes chetna chetna
इट इज रिसीविंग द इंटरेस्ट फ्रॉम एस्को ऑन वन हैंड एंड फ्रॉम द अदर इट इज गिविंग इट इज पासिंग ऑन दैट इंटरेस्ट टू टी को सो आरको इज अ कंडोइट आरको इज अ कंडोइट आरको इज अ कंडोइट आरको इज कंडोइट एंड बिकॉज आरको इज अ कंडोइट दैट इज वाई दैट इज वाई एस एस विल बी जस्टिफाइड इन डिनाइंग दिस बेनिफिट एस विल बी जस्टिफाइड इन डिनाइंग दिस बेनिफिट and therefore s will tax this interest payment as per its domestic laws